So is uh, atheism a religion? <laughs> now, by the end of this video, you'll be able to understand for sure, atheism is just a religion. And I pulled this out just um, as a way of just laughing out on these people who call themselves atheists. Because uh, atheism is just a religious cult, it's just a religion, it's a cult which was created by the, the virgin Richard Dawkins. And something that you have to understand with them, in all their arguments, they always start with, I don't believe God exists. Why do they mention him if uh, they don't care about him? Okay. So, it will be helpful to define religion before we first attempt to classify any belief system, such as atheism uh, being a religion. Now, these definitions can come Let's uh, check these definitions from uh, dictionary.com exactly on what uh, um, atheism is all about. First and foremost, we see atheism being told is the doctrine or belief that there is no God. So you see, it's already a doctrine. A doctrine means something that uh, a set of beliefs of something. So it means what you believe becomes your religion. It is also a disbelief in the existence of a supreme being or beings. Okay? So you already see that and it's explaining to you so well. Let me show you also here as we check something. The origin of atheism was around 1580 to 1590 and atheism came from the word, a Greek word, atheos. Now theos Theos, Theo is a God. Basically, why are they mentioning God? And other words from atheism, anti-atheism, pro-atheism, and all that. I just want to show these definitions here so that you can understand that these guys are just lying to themselves. What does atheism mean? Atheism is the belief that there is no supreme being or deity. In other words, atheism is the denial of the existence of God or of any gods. So they they just deny. They know and they deny. A person who holds such belief can be called an atheist. The word, the word atheist can also be used as an adjective to describe such beliefs or things involving such beliefs. And, uh, and so, forth, so forth, I don't want to take much time on this. I just want to show you roughly so that you can understand uh, probably just a little bit about what they talk about. Atheism the rejection of belief in belief in gods the rejection they know but they reject and like i've told you the word origin for atheism it comes from a, a atheism atheism which is rooted from a greek atheos theos means god okay god theo theo is god atheos means godless you see, theos means God. It's a, it's a Greek word. So, if they are atheists, it means they are atheos. They are just denying God. Atheos. We are against God. So, it's someone that they know. <laughs> and, uh, you see something else? This is just basically a set of beliefs concerning the cause, the nature, the purpose of the universe, especially when considered as a religion, as a creation of superhuman agency or agencies. This is usually involving devotional and ritual observances and often containing a moral code of governing the contacts of human affairs. That's, that's basically all about this atheism and religion. Because every religion has a mode of conduct. There is a way that how they do their things, their set of beliefs. We don't believe in this, we believe in this. That's, that's the same thing. Because any religion has to have uh, some specific fundamental sets of beliefs and practices, generally, which are being agreed upon by all members in, in that religion. And also a religion is a body of persons adhering to a particular set of beliefs and practices. We all believe the same thing. And it's also a practice of religious beliefs or ritual observance of some faith of some nature. <laughs> are you saying these guys are just a, this is just a religion? And also, another definition of a religion is something that one believes and follows devoutly. It's a, a point of 
uh, of matter, of ethics, of conscience, or whatever. So, when you see all these definitions, atheism is indeed just a religion like any other. Okay? Because, uh, we see, in the Bible we discover that when God created humankind, he designed an awareness of existence into humans. Okay? So, God said something. And that's why even when we look at just general worldview definitions of what a religion is, eh? like this guy called Bernard Russell, he said, a religion is a set of beliefs held by dogmas, dominating the conduct of life, going beyond the contrary to evidence, and inculcated by methods which are emotional or authoritarian or intellectual. So it's a set of beliefs. It's a set of beliefs. And this awareness is not only full knowledge or understanding of God. It is simply the inbuilt knowledge. <laughs> a religion is the inbuilt knowledge yeah, that, uh, that we can also call an instinct. You know, there is something you call an instinct. That there is an eternal being somewhere who is a God. And I'm going to show you, even if the atheists they say that there is no God, they believe there is a certain God, probably themselves. You remember, the Apostle Paul explained this quite clearly so much in the book of Romans 1.19. He says, because that, because that which may be known of God is manifest in for them. Uh, is manifest in them. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God has showed it unto them. So, what they want to say, it's already in them. It's in them. And that's why you can see them arguing and saying, creation, believe in creation, God made uh, me an atheist. Why are they talking about God? Jesus was wrong. Jesus saves you from thinking. Atheists are not religious. We are neutral. Why, why are they concerned about <laughs> Jesus, God? Why are they concerned? Everyone believes. And even the unbelievers, they also believe. They know there is a God. Even though they may deny that knowledge, but they believe. You know, history gives us an example. And uh, there are some people in uh, Greece uh, who are called the Athenians in the time of the Apostle Paul back in the days. And they had an altar dedicated to God. Okay? They had an altar. I don't know if I have a picture of this altar here. They had an altar which they used to say is, is to the unknown God. Yeah? They knew there was some God who existed, but they did not know him. Let's, let's read that in Acts 17.23. Acts, Acts 17.23. Acts 17.23. It says, uh, for, for as I passed by, this is Paul talking, and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God. Whom therefore you ignorantly worship, uh, him declare I unto you. I want to declare to you who is this unknown God that you have always been worshipping. Because you say there is no God, you say no, you see the, some God is in some place that we don't know, blah, blah, blah. And all. You, you're just denying, you're just denying something that is there. This atheist is just like uh, those guys. Uh, they had an Athenian altar to their known God, exhibiting proof that all human beings know there is a God. So you just deny and you say, no, there is no God, but you know deep down in you there is a God. Because God designed human beings to worship Him. Okay? God designed human beings to worship Him. And when a person does not worship God, okay, when you reject God, eh, when you don't worship God, he or she will worship anything except God. That is what atheism is. When a man rejects God, he creates a false God or false gods to receive his worship. This is generally in, in every mankind, okay? Mankind creates gods of the, in their own sinful image. For example, the Greek and the Roman gods who are immortal, uh, you know, there are so many gods out there, thousands and thousands. The, the Indians have about 300 million gods. You see, if you don't believe in the true God, you will create your own God. Okay? Are you, are you, are you seeing this? And uh, like those ones, the Greek and the Roman gods were immortal. 
they, they used to say this, uh, our gods are immortal, uh, medacious, venal, petty, cruel. In, and, and in most modern times right now, there is also like different kinds of God, like the Muslim gods, yeah? the Muslim God who, who commands uh, people to die, even including by suicide, that people can suicide themselves. Th those are gods. So th they're just gods because it's not you who saves yourself, but it is God who saves you. So if you change it and you say that it is me who is dying for God, instead of God dying for me, then that becomes a false God. Are you, are you seeing the point? So if you see them suiciding themselves and things like that, then ask yourself, what kind of God is that? Is he a merciful God? Does he give us mercy or do we give him mercy? In a religious course, this is uh, all forms of different worship. And uh, the secular human, uh, humanist God, because now people reject any other kind of God, there is this secular humanist God who comments uh, different things and uh, people are worshipping any kinds of God. They create natures and they say, this is my God, this is my God, this is my God, uh, or what, or they create some birds, or what, whatever kind of thing that they may want. Because man has created gods from anything. From stars, from the planets, from the sea, from the wind, rivers, plants, animals. And has turned his ancestors into gods also. <laughs> he has worshipped spirits hmm? who, who supposedly exist in, in uh, animate and inanimate things. And has imagined that he can become a god even himself. Okay? There are, there are others who claim, oh, I can become a god. I can do the like the new age kind of, you know this kind of religion they they believe that they can become gods yeah they believe they 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 can become god have you seen kanye west talking that saying that he is a god this is just atheists this is just atheists there's basically nothing else about uh, like that you know it's, it's just the same thing they they believe that themselves they are god so when you hear an atheist saying no i don't believe in god he he is the one who thinks himself he's the god okay so, you have to understand, even the atheists themselves, they create a God <laughs> that they can worship. Because the Bible tells us in the book of Psalms, in the book of Psalms 14, uh, verses 1, it tells about, about this. It says, uh, The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Why? Because he wants to be the God. He is corrupt. They, he's, uh, he's doing abominable works. And there is no one, none that does good. So since these people, they are corrupt, they are doing bad works, and they never do good, they, they create another God in themselves and they say, no, 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 I am the God. I am the God because I want to be evil, I want to do what I want, and I don't want anyone to judge me. So I will judge myself. Are you seeing the point? So the fool doesn't deny that there is existence of God. Like the Bible says, the fool does not deny. He only says that there is no God. Do you remember? Like what, what these people, they always deny. They deny. No, 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 no. There, there is no God. God made me an atheist. Jesus was wrong. Blah, blah. They're just denying. They're not saying he's not there. Because if he was not there, they would not even mention him. But atheist is against God. Atheism. Atheos. Atheos. Like I've read for you. Atheos basically means against God. So they know first, before you come against something, you must know it exists. Okay? You must first understand that the, what you are refusing, it exists. So, there is rather practical, no practical, whatever, like uh, just uh, this, what we can just call a theoretical atheism. So, these people deny and they say, no, 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 I am the God. There is no God. And uh, every human being knows because of the way God designed human nature. That there is a God who must be worshipped and a God who requires submission and dependence. They know that. But the atheist refuses to submit to God and therefore rejects God. He refuses and says, no, I don't want. I don't want. I don't want. I'm saying, no, 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 I don't believe in God. <laughs> this, this artist, the, most of them, they hide their rebellion with a lie. They hide with a lie to themselves and also to others. That there is no God. 
And basically, you know very well, atheism is not disbelief in God, but the rejection, the rejection of God. And atheism, if you ask people who at least, uh, you know, people who can be able to calculate what exactly a religion is, eh? when they, you ask them really about atheism, is it really uh, a part of a religion? Mm, yes. <laughs> atheism is just a religion. It's actually a pure religion. Yes, it's a religion. The atheist worship, and they, they cannot help it because God designed the necessity to worship into human nature. And the atheists, like all who reject one true God, like any other person who worships um, any other, um, what is it? Let me see. All these other kind of gods. Eh? All these people who worship other gods, just like all these, Atheist is just one of these. Okay? They're just like that. The atheists, they, they, they just create an idol in themselves. And they say, mm, no, I am, I am God. <laughs> themselves, they declare that they are themselves, they are God. So in this case, they're just idols themselves. So that they can uh, basically satisfy their both inner uh, knowledge that there is a God. And the inner necessity to worship. Uh, which was given by God, like I've read to you. And uh, the atheist creates a religion, they usually create a religion of trust in himself so much that uh, meets one or more of all these definitions of what a religion is. So when you look at Christian, Muslim, Jewish, blah, 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 all these are religions. So meaning even atheism is a religion because they also believe in something. And anything that you believe in becomes your religion. So do you believe in the true religion? Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Because Jesus did not come to uh, bring in religions. He came to bring you salvation. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Because Jesus, there's something that he did 2,000 years ago. While you were still sinners, Jesus died for us. He died so that he could redeem us from all these false gods and all these unknown gods and all these atheisms and all these, you know, all these kind of things. Because they will all send people back into hell. Because there's only one person who does not demand anything. He does not demand you to sacrifice himself like, uh, uh, you know, Islam, they say, oh, go and kill yourself for the sake of God. I wonder what kind of God will tell you to kill yourself for him instead of him killing himself for you. You know, you have, you have, you have to do the math. Jesus died for you. Why would you go and die for someone? It doesn't really make sense. It doesn't make sense. And you're dying for someone, not as a show of love, but you're doing uh, uh, so that you can fulfill some, some spiritual thing. It doesn't work like that. If you have to die for someone, love for, die for the love that you have for them, that you don't want to see them troubled, but you want to see them, you know, in a, in a better way, you know, things like that. Like the way Jesus died for our sins. He did not die so that uh, Jesus did not uh, suicide bomb himself. No. He died for our sins. He replaced himself with us while we were still sinners. And the gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. It's all about understanding how that Christ died for our sins. He was buried and rose again, as the Bible says. When you understand this, why Jesus died and for who he died, and then you understand it so correctly, all you need to do is just to tell God in a prayer what you believe. Confess it to God. Tell him, Jesus, I know I understand that you died for my sins. You were buried and rose again, as the Bible says. And for sure you're saved. And you don't need to think about all these other things. You don't need to be an atheist. And if you're an atheist out there, this is not about bashing you or things like that. But it's about showing you the truth so that you can be able to be saved. And stop believing in yourself as a God. Believe in the true God who created you. Hope this has been a blessing to you. Hope uh, it has touched you in one way. Please, uh, you can share the video. You can subscribe to watch more videos. And also tell others that uh, the good news. Because uh, it's all about the good news. That's the only thing which can save you. Okay? God bless you and have a blessed time.